Hey everyone, Gig Accountant here. My name is Naz and I'm a licensed CPA in the state of New Jersey. I'm also a gig economy worker, cryptocurrency investor, and blockchain enthusiast. All right, so yeah, today I just want to talk a little bit about um, another cryptocurrency that I am aware of and a lot of folks talk about free with frequency. It's a top ch top 10 coin. Uh, it is uh, none other than it's XRP. Um, it is also... Uh, often referred to as the banker's coin. So what are my thoughts about this? Uh, my thoughts about the um, XRP is that it is a solid alternative to uh, Bitcoin. It's a centralized a centralized uh, alternative to Bitcoin, a, co a coin that's not as decentralized. It's a coin that is controlled more by a single entity or a small core of individuals it is probably a coin that has more firm direction um since it is uh it is yeah under subjected to a smaller core of folks control of uh, subjected to the control of a smaller set of people um so with s since that's the case it's more able to um shift directions and execute plans in action in a more prompt manner than uh, Bitcoin. Is this a good thing or is it a bad thing? I guess it depends on the situation. It depends on the context and it depends on uh, the scenario. Uh, with, this, with decentralization, there are certain strengths and weaknesses and with centralization, there's certain strengths and weaknesses. But now there's a lot of folks who um, kind of promote that this coin will be XRP will be used extensively by uh, banks um, in order to, as part of their foreign uh, foreign exchange uh, trade uh, foreign exchange uh, translations. Um, and my thought about this is that that is kind of absurd. Um, just going to be frank about that. It's a, it's a, an absurd notion that XRP will be used by banks and financial institutions to translate foreign currencies foreign currencies into different currencies. And now why do I say this? The reason I say this is that when uh, outside of strict trading activities, when uh, banks and financial institutions are engaging in financial transactions that will cross uh, currencies, they are not they are seeking to minimize volatility. They are seeking to lock in certain uh, lock in guaranteed uh, rates. They are not seeking a co a a um something a coin or X such as XRP or a means of payment that may uh, spike violently or crash violently ten percent over the course of minutes or hours or what have what have you they want they they these banks and financial institutions they need to have uh guarantee pay um rates in order to be able to make plans in order to ensure that they meet their liquidity needs to ensure that they have the funds that they require in order to make their payments or to or what have you so I have in the past I did work with a, a company in the derivative controllers or, uh, group, and companies will actually uh, engage in uh, de uh, derivative hedging strategies in order to guarantee uh, foreign uh, foreign currency exchange rates. So they will um, when when they know when a company knows that they would. They were going to be making purchases or sales from one currency to the other one. They will take out a derivative, a future derivative, or um, a derivative, derivative futures in order to lock in a rate at which they can uh, translate these currencies into. And um, so, and why? So, what does what does this mean? They would pay a premium. In order to minimize the risk, XRP is one of the most, and cryptocurrency overall is one of the most risky assets in the world. 
no bank is going to use XRP for foreign currency translation transactions. It just doesn't make sense. So with that said, I do think there is I, I don't I think that the case the use case for banks using XRP for foreign currency translation services or foreign currency uh, translation translation um, transactions is weak. But there is a case to be made for a coin that is controlled by a centralized uh, a centralized uh, entity or entities. Um, as, as there is also a case for a coin, Bitcoin or other competitors to be decentralized and controlled to be uh, dispersed across uh, many entities and individuals. It just depends on the situation, it depends on the scenario. And so, but the, in my opinion, there is no case to be made for banks and financial institutions adopting XRP or other uh, public uh, coins like that uh, in order to engage in foreign currency, foreign currency translation activities. Uh, now, Ripple, that's something else. That is, um, that is, the Ripple system is something that may receive adoption uh, by banks and financial institutions. Maybe, maybe not. But um, my understanding about Ripple is that the there is not the same type of risk as holding a cryptocurrency, a public cryptocurrency. It, the, the way it operates is completely different and... So that is something that is completely different from uh, the Ripple infrastructure. The Ripple system is completely different from XRP, the coin the, that is publicly traded on exchanges. Okay, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. I just want to share my thoughts about XRP.